What's good, Council of Comics? Welcome to another video on the channel. Uh, this video is kind of special because it's the first of a new type of project that I like to work on now. Um, I'm going to do a little narration. I'm going to do the whole book. And what book are we going to do? <laughs> but the Council Key! Big Game Issue 4. Now, if I do it well, like and subscribe. Put that comment down below. And let me know that you want to see issues one, two, and three, and I'll go back and do them. Um, like I said, I thought about something to do. I wanted to do it, and I, I put a lot of effort into this, and I hope you enjoy it. So here's a new project. It's story time with the Council of Comics. What is good, Council of Comics? We are checking out Big Game number four. Uh, there's only one issue left. It's by Mark Millar, Pepe Larraz, Giovanna Nero, and Clem Robbins. 65 million years ago. What the? Don't worry, peasant. Your life has been saved by Princess Sonia. You may kneel now and accept my royal blessing. Huh? I said kneel and accept your blessing, woman. You are in the presence of King Marax's daughter. Well, have you forgotten your manners? What? What year is this? And if I'm this far back in time, how come there's people around? I would advise you to lower your weapon. My trigger finger is faster than yours. How do you even know what I'm saying? <laughs> how does anyone communicate? With my universal translator, of course. If it wasn't for these, we would never leave our home world. Now I'll say it one more time. <coughs> Captain Havelock! Your Highness, I am so sorry. Just got so far ahead of our hunting party and I only just caught up. Did she hurt you? Don't be ridiculous. How could anyone hurt me? Have you any idea who she is? No, but I'm glad you only stunned her because my father will want to find out everything. I believe she rode on this orange corpse to reach our great city and it seems to be able to travel through time. Are you serious? Of course I'm serious. Now, let's get them both back to my dad. He's going to be delighted when he sees what we've got. The Court of King Morax. Are you pleased with us, sire? You killed the billion of your people on my command, Erwin. Brought peace to a sector long thought ungovernable. Your homeworlds fear you. This is good, but please, there's a word reserved for my family. Let's just say I'm satisfied. Now, before I appoint any new Grand Marshals, there's one more thing I would like to do. Don't worry, Master. I understand. Diabolos the Sorcerer. Why would you do this? Because that's what you're going to say, isn't it? That we must eliminate the last of the competition after killing all the others to get to this point. I knew my brother was a formidable wizard, and that meant striking first. Actually, I was just going to offer you refreshment, but I like the way you think, Diabolos. I suspect your new role is going to work very well. Dad! You need to see this! Dane and I found two time travelers while we were hunting. And I think we can use them to access the time stream. Forgive me, sire. I know you were interviewing your new enforcers. But the princess was eager to share this with you. Tell me more about these time travelers, Anya. Are they from the past? Or the future? The future, father. I think the dead guy has some kind of time suit. The woman used it to travel back here. Does she have a tongue? I have a feeling whatever I have to say isn't going to do me a lot of good, your majesty. But this future they came from is very interesting. It's your world, sire but no longer governed by your greatness. 
a vast and sprawling disorganized mess with access to temporal journeys, but defenses utterly thousands of years behind our own. No longer under my laws. I regret to say not a trace of you anywhere. On my own world? Take me there now so I might dominate these curs. <laughs> Are you even listening? The chrono suit is out of charge, dip. That's how I got stuck here. Ah, but this is where my techno sorcery can help. All I have to do is manipulate the city's power and transform it into the energy required. I'm sure I can have this chrono suit operational again. Then we have no more need for this strange, unpleasant woman. Take her away for execution. But, Dad, she didn't come here to cause any trouble. She just said she was running away from something bad. If you expect to replace me as ruler one day, you'll need to be less sentimental, daughter. This stranger might have been a spy or an assassin, a threat to your mother and the child she carries. Mom! Do as my husband says, Captain. His word is gospel on this world. Your wish is my command, Empress. You know he's going to kill you, right? You and everyone else in that room. I've seen his type before. He's a grade A psychopath. Ma'am, would you please be quiet for a second? I'm trying to do this as discreetly as possible. Do what? Release you into the jungle. We know you didn't come here to hurt anyone. You'll just have to promise to never come back. Head east and you'll find a settlement within three days. It won't exactly be luxurious, but if I give you my translator pin, you'll be able to- <laughs> Sorry sir, it's not that I don't appreciate the offer, but there's some people back home that are gonna do something bad, and I need to kill them before it's too late. Are you sure of what you saw on that woman's head, Diabolos? Regrettably so, my king. It's bad enough to see the sunset on your endless empire. To see it gone here on your homeworld is somehow so much worse. Take as many of my ships as the Orange Corps can carry and come back home when you crush these ingrates. I've already conquered the outskirts of space. It's only right that time is to fall. I hope you know what you're doing here, Mindy. Because this feels pretty crazy. What do you mean, you missed your bus? Dave, this is insane. Marty and me are in a room full of superheroes. And there's as much free booze in here as you can drink. Tell them I saw a couple of the ambassadors. That new one from Italy with the line of men's toiletries. Oh, don't make me feel worse than I already do, Todd. I was heading for my bus when this old lady needed help. And then this big gang of teenagers chased me for 10 blocks. By the time I got to the rendezvous point, the helicopter was gone. We are literally looking at Duke McQueen, dude. And he's talking to the guy from the nightclub. Tell him they said Superior was coming back. And I was standing in the men's room besides the guy who did that Miles Per Hour drug a while back. Do you have any idea what this is all about, kid? Not a clue, dude. All I know is that the president wanted every super on the planet at this meeting. There has to be something really big. The tech said it was world-threatening. So I sent a distress call to some old friends. They'll hopefully be here to back us up if things get hairy. Is that who I think it is? Wait a second. Here comes somebody now. Oh, shit. <laughs> Can you feel that? That's an ultrasonic signal I just sent out to each of you individually. You guys must be in a lot of pain. My code name is Nemesis, and I've organized the murder of all these new superheroes. But my master wants me to tie up the loose ends, too. Look at little Sam from the night. He can't believe how much this hurts. But the good news is it'll all be over soon, and I'm going to take his mask off and let the sunlight do the rest. What would they think if they knew you were vampires, Sam? Do you think they want superheroes who drink human blood? All yours, sir.
My father's generation just let them get too big. The trick with superheroes is to nip them in the bud. Now it's going to be decades before we have to worry about them interfering with our business models again. Ruling the world is easier than you think, Matthew. You just have to stand back and play the guys with the red baseball caps against the ladies with the purple hair. Give them a culture war, and they'll never wage a class war. The money always stays in the same pockets. <clears throat> I don't even know why you keep them around. Surely you can run all this with AI and a few million slaves. Yes, but where would the new innovation come from? There are some brilliant minds out there among all the dross. Thanks to Chun He Chung's new technology, we can live forever. Thanks to the chrononauts, we can travel through time. Who knows what the sheep might give us next? This prick! I'm doing it, Charlie! I'm taking this guy out right god now! Don't talk crazy, Cordelia. You know better than anyone what happens to the world when we break the rules. The Magic Order has to sit through wars and famines and anything else that's a supernatural enemy. Wesley Gibson is a son of a bitch, but he's only a human threat, and that's outside of our jurisdiction. Now come back to the bar and we can get wasted like the rest of the group. Nobody likes sitting on the sidelines, but it's a hell of a lot easier with a half a dozen drinks in you. So he wins again, and the people never know what happened. They go back to thinking this is all there ever was. You can only hold the truth back so long, Cordelia. Nothing lasts forever. Every empire takes a tumble in the end. What are you thinking about, Wesley? Hmm. It girl. The new loose end. I know she only had the power for a single time jump. She's a clever little... It's just like Bobby Griffin again. She'll be lying dead in a million-year-old ditch. Everyone else is being incinerated. You've won, Wesley. The world can go back to their drugs and their porn and their entertainment news. All the loose ends have been tied up. So why do I feel this knot in my stomach? Day. Where are the heroes?